All right, just as we're entering, we've got tamarind. Yeah. Look at all the flowers. There are Right now. Did you say these were sweet or sour tamarind? Tart. Tart. And where did they come from? That was an interesting story. Oh, well, we were inspired by uh, Indian Key. Indian Key? This one is more. They said there's a grove down there? Yes, a beautiful grove. Here. You oh, can wow. Taste it. Whoa, there's a ripe one. Yeah, I haven't had them this fresh before. Only had them from the. Uh, in the store after they've been in a box for mm. goodness knows. For a taste? Whoa. Tamarind. Oh. See, there's more in the meets the eye on this property. That's delicious. Mmm. Would you call it tart? Mm -hmm. Little tart, but good. Apparently, this is what keeps the islands, islanders in the Bahamas having good teeth. Really? Tamarind? Wow. Not we need to get some more of this in Gavin, Melissa. Yeah. We need to go to the dentist. Hopefully that's the end. Wow. So there's one, two, three. I think that's it. And these were all planted from seeds by you? Not seeds. Small trees that you dug up? Wow. A little tree. Where are those mahogany trees that you were talking about? Uh, let's go see them. That's it, isn't it? Isn't that one of them? That's a mahogany, wow. That's one of them. There are two, and there's one back there. A couple in here. Yeah, yes. Yeah, there were two right next to each other. Silver buttonwood. So they're 27 years old. 27 years, wow. I tell you, when you get up here, it definitely gets louder. It really helps to buffer the sound. And this is a governor's plum. Those are delicious. Yes, I love them. Have you ever tried rolling them? What do you mean? Well, when you roll them in between your hands, they actually, it takes away out of that astringency and it makes them sweeter. Really? I just recently tried some rolled. Yeah, I was blown away. The flavor was just, not, it completely changes the flavor profile. Really? Yeah, we should try to find one. Maybe we could uh, uh, I don't, taste, I don't, oh. Let's see, I don't even They're tell. not ready right now? Early, I don't, I, I can, you know, they're good, just a little bit out here. Yeah, these are fairly cold hardy. We have these all the way up by us. There's actually a, um, a famous collector named, I think, Charles Novak. I ate yeah. them at his house off of I-4, and he showed us to roll them, and I was blown away. Much better flavor. Really? That's big stopper I mean, all the way up top there, huh? I love them. Wow, okay, I see the I little know, fruits. And I have a date plum. There's those little governor plums. They get purple when they're ready. Yeah, they do. Oh, there's a date up in there, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's this one. Oh, right over one, okay. A little too humid to uh, get dates here, but beautiful tree. We do get dates, but they never, they don't survive, you know. I, they don't ripen properly, I think right? you have to like, yeah, I think you have to tend to them. I think they like that dry, arid, humid, or I mean, dry, arid climate better. Oh yeah, well you would know for sure. And look what at my collar, it's got eaten by iguana. I was away <laughs> last week. Your collar has got eaten by iguanas? Oh my god, I have the most beautiful, like, like opulent plants. Like, <laughs> It was crazy, and um, sorry for laughing. I don't think any of our viewers have had that problem, Melissa. Oh my God! Oh, and they were completely new. Watch out for the iguanas here. They will eat your collards. Oh my God! So <laughs> now a friend said, just um, so I really I cleaned them up, and now I don't know. I'm hoping they'll recover. And they really, they were growing. You could see they were. I mean, they were. Oh. Tell they were cool. They were really happy. Whoa, we got some red nanners, huh? Yeah, Jamaican reds. Jamaican reds. Whoa. Look at these beauties. Yeah, they're getting ready. I should have actually cut the flower off. So you do remove the flower to I put do. some of that energy into I the fruit. Yes, you do. Wow, Good. these are fairly dwarf. Yeah, these are. And these are dwarfs. Yeah. Dwarf Jamaican. But, Beautiful um, looking fruit. Yeah, they're really and they're delicious. They're really great. You got a little citrus over here too, huh? Yeah, I think it's a um, key lime or something. I'm sure. The one you gave it to me. I think that's where I got it. Um, but it's that big got coconut more fruit on it, so it seems to be happy. I would like to get it. And this is. Um, oh, Japotacaba. Yeah. Jabbity Kaba, nice. Uh oh, she said, "Look at this one." Whoa! 
not ready yet, almost. That's a I better like size. I like them when they're this height. <laughs> That's yeah. a little easier to yeah. pick, huh? No they're the greatest. Wow. We get. You know the variety of mango over here on the property line? Um, you know what? No, because this has preceded me by a lot. But they're delicious. They are? Are they fibrous? Um, not as bad as some, but not mm. as smooth as Not quite a Tommy. So there's a big mango. There's a big sapodilla, coconuts. Yeah, that mango tree has been there a long time. And you just planted this little keat over here, right? Yeah, that's only a year. One year. Yeah, one year with a tiny little one. All right, so watch out for iguanas. They will eat your collards. Oh. I love the boat. Is this your annual garden come yeah. fall? Yeah, that's awesome. That's really nice. So this has been a heavy producing banana for you. Yes. I got like four or five hands at a time. Wow. All right, beautiful. You want to take a pup? I would love to. That's fine. Oh, we're getting a pup. Why not? How exciting is that? Is that you? Do you know which ones will be? Yeah, so that little guy with the leaves on it is a water sucker. Those won't really produce. We right. want to try to find. And how about this one next to it? That one next to it? This one right here? This is a pretty good one. This is a uh, sword sucker. So we don't want the ones that look like that. That would be a water sprout. See how skinny it is and it, how it produces leaves at that small size. And it's yeah. flimsy to where this is a sword. That's the one we want to connect, disconnect off the base. This is a good one too, but it's a little close to the banana. Right, and will that, that one we don't know yet? That will, that will probably be a sword. That'll be a good one too. If you can disconnect it from the heart there, do or the corn. Do you know how to disconnect them? Yeah, if you got a shovel, I can do it. Yeah, I have a shovel. All right. Over here against the banana. Right. I use those pony shovels. Right. So it's a little bit heavier. It's easier just to you know, get it down Locking. in here. And oh, that was good. I don't have the proper shoes on for digging bananas, but. What are the proper shoes? <laughs> Probably a boot where you could kick it. Right. See, but you don't really have to go, though. No. Right? No, that's what we want right there. Right so. there, it's your baby. We love that. Jamaican Red Dwarf right? coming to Sand Hill Farm. We love that. That was really nice of you to share. Thank of you, Beth. Of course, my pleasure. I love Woo! sharing. New banana for the collection. I can't believe you have 50 and you never had a Jamaican Red. So. No, all the Reds I've had haven't produced, so I've kind of cut them out. So I'm excited. Yeah. New cultivar. A new cultivar. It's just the beginning. Woo! I'm moving it forward. Okay. I all right, so thank you, Beth, for letting us into your beautiful house. Um, this is gorgeous, right on the water, right on the highway. First time tasting soursop, and I have to say, I was, I was quite impressed. And interesting facts about the house coming at you. We were just inside, and I want Beth to share that with us real quick. All right, Beth, how old is this house? So this house was built by the Red Cross for families that survived the 1935 hurricane. Wow. Um, not including this the porch, but that part. I mean, they were the two bedroom, one bath, and they're, I, I think it's a rather unique spot because there are four of them in a row on this beach. So this was all the Russell family. They were one of the originating, you know, founding families of Isla Morana. Wow. So this was part of the Russell estate. And so that was built in 1936 for, and there are four of them. And they were all the same, and they were all poured cement houses, including the roof and everything. Fairly hurricane proof, huh? Yes, well, they're meant to be. Though, um, you know, the, <laughs> in dealing with a poured cement house, when um, you'd think of it as rather static, though, it's hardly that at all. You know, it's, it's, it's got its own life to it, but um, it does require some upkeep. But um, what is nice is, and you could see the line, because this is really um, below is this turn. And so I capture the water on both sides, and it goes into a cistern. And the cistern, I use the cistern to irrigate the uh, orchard. The Gunamanas get watered from the rainwater, which is getting caught under the right. house. And you know what? It was tough wow. when we first moved in, and um, you know it was it was really good clean water. 
So, I, you know, I always wonder about using it nice. to drink, but... Uh, Run it through a Berkey, yeah, it's probably better than anything, yeah, right? I don't know <laughs> things, but... Um, wow. That is definitely... So, these were just, um, you know, sort of... Uh, uh, overflow. <laughs> oh, so these are these are the cistern overflows, and this is where it fills the cistern. It does, it does fill. Wow. Yeah. Well, they built them right back in the day. They don't do them like this anymore, other than on the islands down south. Right. Wow. Yeah, because it, it really is under the whole entire house. So. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the dry season, it's great. I just. You know, and this is your addition studio, I guess, on this side, right? Yes. So this was built by the uh, dynamic nomadic team of Jersey Devil, and they come and they, um, they're a design build firm, and they met in uh, Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton at the university, and they, um, so they go and they live and they build on site. Wow. And so, and they bring their Airstream trailers, and um, uh, in the front, my porch I have a story in tile about them being here with their trailers. Nice. Yeah, so they're very colorful and um, celebratory. <laughs> we celebrated everything. We celebrated the ground floor. We celebrated the second floor. So oh, wow. It was really a lot of fun building and you could tell it needs the ocean side is so different. <laughs> I need to redo that soffit. I need and at one point, since I'm a potter, we had this idea of um, these little tiles actually hold up the uh, stilts that hold up the rebar. Oh, really? And so instead of, instead of having stilts, I was going to do the whole ceiling of this studio with these tiles. And then they would hold up the rebar and we wouldn't need those little stilts. Um, That's pretty interesting. Oh my god, but I didn't realize how many, like it doesn't look like a lot. <laughs> what was involved there, this? huh? Wow. But this is a lot. There's... And working overhead. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, no, and just in making them. Okay. You don't have to work overhead because, um, so they put the, you know, the boards on, right, okay. the four by eights, and then these go face down on the board and then the rebar sits on top of them. So there's no real manual labor involved in placing them. It's more like in making them. Wow. Like, I, I don't know, I wouldn't eat that one. Beautiful no, white just, variegated uh, ginger. Variegated, yeah, right, that's what I know. Wow. <laughs> it's not your normal yellow shell ginger that you would see. My heart of gold, my love is rich for you.